Hello, everyone. My name is Xing Liu. I'm an assistant professor in chemical and materials engineering at the University of Alberta. First of all, what is material engineering? It is a study of everything. Everything is made of something. Pretty much everything we own contains a complex mix of materials that we have discovered, designed, and then developed. Material engineering is about creating, processing, and testing a variety of materials, such as metals, ceramics, polymers, composites, and all kinds of nanomaterials. Materials engineers also investigate how materials perform and why they sometimes fail. By understanding the structure of matters from atomic scale to millimeter scale, we invent new ways to combine chemical elements into materials with unprecedented functional properties. In materials engineering, we study the properties and structures of、uh, various materials to create new materials that meet certain mechanical, electrical, chemical requirements. As you can see, materials engineering gave us the diversity and flexibility to explore a lot of different fields in one place. Here you will learn how to manipulate the structure and the properties of materials at molecular and atomic levels for a broad range of applications. For example, energy, construction, electronics, biotechnology, and nanotechnology, while employing modern processing and discovery principles. For example, casting, coating, and 3D printing. You will also have experience in using state-of-the-art characterization techniques and、uh, computer simulations to design and optimize new materials. As a freshman, you are probably trying to figure out what kind of engineer you want to be. My advice is to pick something that you can grow with, something that can offer you the flexibility. Uh, material engineering is the kind of major you can grow with because there are so many different avenues that you can pursue while still within this major. The progress of our modern society relies heavily on advanced materials.、Uh, like any advancement in technology, is pushed primarily by two factors. One is the design. The other one is the material. Material engineering definitely leads in the discovery and development of new technologies. After graduation, you can start a career to design and manufacture products such as safer cars with better batteries and better gas mileage,、uh, faster computers with larger hard drive capacities, smaller electronics. Uh, renewable energy harvesting devices and better medical uh, devices. Um, even museums hire materials engineers for the support to analyze, preserve, and restore artworks. Materials engineers may specialize in understanding specific types of materials. Here at UV, we offer diverse research opportunities. For examples, we have metallurgists. Who specialize in metals such as pipeline steels, dissolvable alloys, and、uh, super alloys.、Uh, we have ceramic engineers who develop ceramic materials for high temperature nozzles and、uh, resisting hot corrosion.、Uh, we also have plastic engineers who develop and test new biodegradable polymers.、Um, there's also a lot of reverse engineering. By looking at a problem or failure, we try to figure out why things are not functioning the way we want it to, and how we can make this material better. Being a woman, I would like to encourage women and girls to consider engineering as a career path that can have enormous benefits to society. I wish you all the best for your future career. I can't wait to see you in our department in your future.